all right hello guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be doing a video on a token that i wanted to do like about a week or so ago i saw it um being advertised i think on Poo i think i saw it advertising on pool coin or somewhere i saw the advertisement for this token pop up somewhere and i'm like okay it looks good and then when i looked at the background and stuff i saw that it had like 400,000 um, holders and I'm like wow this is one of the biggest tokens I've ever seen so I said okay I had a couple other tokens I had to do a review on so I said I'll let this one wait but while I was waiting to do this token it looks like somehow it got rug pulled so we're gonna look at it the video that I had planned for it is never gonna be the same because now I know beforehand that it actually got rug pulled so here we see on coin gecko is called meta kings mtk and it says we've received allegations that the team has abandoned the project rug pool please proceed with caution so even coin coin gecko giving us a warning there it's a abandoned smart chain token it's on it has a twitter handle telegram so let's see how many members is in the telegram just to show you how big this token actually was all right, so here we see that there's almost just 11 short of 200,000 members on Telegram. I think this is probably probably the largest token I've ever looked at on my channel. This almost has 200,000 members on Telegram. So it was a large, large, large token. All right, so and then let's go to their Twitter. And here you can see they have over 450,000 followers on Twitter and they just joined in November. That's like four. That's like five months ago. So within five months, they got over 450,000 members. And that's I think this actually is the largest token I've ever seen. So here they pinned the tweet and today is the 20. Today is the 25th, so they pinned a tweet from the 23rd. It says the countdown has been set less than 12 hours to unlock to token unlock. So here it shows on the 22nd, the 2nd of March, February 17th. So it looks like they had all the tokens locked for some reason and then they were promising like counting down the days when the token was going to be unlocked so here they show unlock from 23rd february 2022 so meta kings token burn 50 million tokens so you can see these are february 6 january 22nd and let's see they retweeted january 21st january 21st january 19th january 18th january 18th january 17th so you can see that they stopped they stopped tweeting around the 23rd today's the 25th and they stopped tweeting around the 23rd so you know something's up you don't have 450 followers and then you just stop tweeting suddenly all right so and i'm sure if you guys open their telegram and start looking at certain things like see what people are actually saying in their telegram group you'll see that they actually did rug pull so let's just continue all right let's see one thing i always remember um i always remember got people in my um comment section on certain videos where i might call out a token and say hey this looks like a scam token to me or this look like it's going to be a rug pull just giving my opinion i'll usually see people say hey so okay why didn't they rug pull when they got to a hundred thousand members or a hundred thousand holders or why didn't they rug pull when they had fifty thousand holders or two hundred thousand holders i i've always been telling people hey there are smart people out there People, you have some people who, as soon as they see they have 10,000 holders or 20,000 holders, they'll rug pull. But you have smarter people who will actually wait and continue working in the background like they're, they're, they're actually legit and everything. And they'll wait. Some, some tokens will probably wait until they have a million holders, whereas that that's going to, instead of rug pulling when they're they're at 20,000 holders or 50,000 holders and they would make like $200,000 
you have some people who will actually wait till like this token wait till they have over 450,000 holders then do the rug pull so you will have people who probably would be wondering oh why this token isn't going to rug pull because look or the developers won't rug pull because here we see that on the 14th of march they got up to one dollars 29 cents and they did not rug pull it's just falling a little bit so volume was like four thousand dollars and then you would still have people out say no 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 they won't rug pull because see he got up to a dollar and they didn't do nothing they didn't dump or drain the liquidity pool or anything but when we come over to the 20 right here when we come over to the 23rd of march that's that's when i think they said that the tokens and everything should be unlocked when it comes to the 23rd of march that was a dollar and six cents they rug pull right there so now we see that it's one token is like zero dollars zero 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 seven cents so one <clears throat> one token <clears throat> sorry guys one token at this moment is at zero dollars zero zero let me zoom in so right this point one token is at zero dollars zero dollars zero 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 six cents so just a little bit over a penny and that's coming from at the all-time high that's coming from let's see that's coming from one dollar and 29 cents just roughly ten nine days ago one dollar 29 cents down to less than a penny <laughs> all right and let's just open their website i know it makes no sense we look at their website right now too much because we already figured yes that they rope pulled because our we can even look right here we can see this shows you these these numbers show you that it's a rug pull so in the last 30 days went down by 99.2 percent last 14 days 99.3 percent last seven days 99.3 percent and then these are just these are just being or how would i say this now these numbers the one uh, the hour and the 24 hours these are just what what the token has done because um yesterday was at one cent yesterday was at one penny and so since yesterday it actually went down by like 37 percent all right but we just need to look at the seven day chart the 14 day the 30 day chart to see how bad it actually is this is one of the worst rug pulls i've ever seen because so many people are involved there's over 400,000 wallets like i saw all right so 450,000 twitter members and i think there's over 400,000 holders all right i said i was gonna just open their website to just show you guys that their website looked professionally built and everything all right so here it shows ai gaming metaverse fight the battle all right so here show you about the game meta kings is an ai powered fighting universe in which anyone can earn rewards such as tokens and nfts through competent gameplay and contributions to the ecosystem players can engage in combat gather resources develop their characters and establish their own land-based kingdoms the game will be powered by its official token the meta kings token mtk in-game characters can also be collected collected as nfts in the game and exchange for tokens in our official nft marketplace so it shows that they have 15,000 unique characters 350 epic bosses 35 battle arenas and here it shows the different thing like the incredible atmosphere catchy battles exciting rewards <clears throat> all right so tokenomics it says let me zoom in it says mtk serves as the native currency for meta kings players use mtk to mint characters mint arenas extending the lives of your characters by hiring and hiring and buy sell on the meta kings marketplace there is a maximum supply of 1 billion mtk tokens liquidity will be locked at the game and the game rewards will be vested for six months please proceed to the docs for more information now let me click on the roadmap to see roadmap all right so here it looks like they actually did everything that they promised they actually worked on the, the got the um contract audited they got listed on coin market cap and coin gecko in december they grew their community they actually did grow the grow their community because that i think everything i think the twitter is over four hundred and fifty thousand. telegram is almost two hundred thousand. 
so they actually they were actually doing every single thing that they said they were going to do until they got to february it looks like they were planning on rugging somewhere around february march so february march they decided okay we're gonna stop doing whatever and just wait on the perfect time to just rug pull and it looks like that's exactly what they did so guys i'm not gonna be doing too much more i'm not gonna be trying to figure out if they actually got rug pull because we see yes they did rug pull so let's just jump and in into a few different tools and see where they probably stole this money from so pool coin and let's see so people are actually still buying somebody just bought six dollars somebody bought sixty one dollars twenty eight dollars fourteen dollars one dollar hundred and seventy four dollars so people are actually still buying and selling and one uh, i always tell you guys i always like to look at this section right here pool coin visits charts to see how popular this token actual the tokens are and i tell you as long as the token is has over 500 members or 500 visitors in the last 24 hours or the last two days that means it's kind of popular i think this one have over 10,000, and here we see that this one actually have 11,000 visitors in the last 24 hours so this token has been super 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 popular all right but let's go look at all right here you can see the chart right here somewhere around here it was at 99 cents 99 cents we can see 91 cents 94 cents it got to a dollar right there and then boom it just fell to a half a penny so right here on the 23rd of march about this is roughly about 5 p.m so roughly about 5 p.m on the 23rd of march 2022 this token just fell flat on its face what i think happened i don't think they probably sell sold everything i think they right here because if we go to the mtk holders let's click on mtk holders if we look at the holders we can see that holders there's currently 435,000 holders and that's one of the largest holdings i've seen of any token and we can see that the top wallets are all locked or dead wallets and then we can see that the top unlocked wallet is this wallet ox62 with forty three thousand seven hundred and sixty four dollars but this person cannot actually sell right now because because we this token can actually get worse than it actually is right now this token can go way 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 can lose a couple zeros if these people start selling like small amounts until they sell everything but this is why they cannot really sell all of that yet because the liquidity pool only has roughly twelve thousand dollars in it so this guy with this guy these unlocked wallets with forty three thousand twenty five thousand thirteen thousand they cannot actually sell just yet or they cannot sell every single token as yet because there's just not enough liquidity to handle all of those sales all right and then here we see that they have a 5.7 million market cap i'm not sure how much the market cap was the other day i think let me give me one second guys i'm gonna i think if i remember correctly i should have taken like a screenshot of meta kings sometime like a couple days ago i think i took a screenshot so I'm just looking through my phone right now to see if I actually have that screenshot. I wish I could see what the market cap actually was. Or it looked like I didn't take that screenshot. Or right, let's see, wait. All right, Meta Kings. No, I did not take that screenshot. All right, let's get back to the video. So did not take that screenshot i wish i had taken a screenshot to see the market cap from a couple of days ago because with a token that has over four hundred thousand holders this market cap should be like in the hundreds of millions i think i think this market cap should be in the hundreds of thousands hundreds of millions i mean sorry guys and let's see who's holding on to the liquidity so we see nine nine addresses legion investing 73 percent 18 percent to this oxb1b I know this address i can't remember exactly what this address is but i wouldn't too worry about this 18 percent this oxb1b i know it has something to do with 
the Binance Smart, something like that. I'm not sure 100% what I'm going to have to probably do a video specifically on this address. I know it has something to do with the blockchain and stuff. And then the next unlocked wallet is OX79F. I wish I had done a video on this token to see every single wallet in here that actually had some of the liquidity. All right, but let's go back and let's see if the contract has been renounced and here we can see read contract so let's look for owner is owner or get owner or we see dev address get owner so here we see get owner so that means this is the owner OX82D5 so that means the ownership has not been renounced and I always tell you guys that hey when the ownership has not been renounced, it could be a bad thing or it could be a good thing. It could be either or 50, 50% 50 chance it will be a good thing or a bad thing. And here we see that, hey, ownership not renounced. So now the owner, to me, it looks like the owner or the devs actually drained the liquidity. So they ran off with the liquidity. I'm not sure how much liquidity was there before. I wish I had done a video on the liquidity and all of that stuff first and then see exactly how much liquidity they actually ran off with but I, I did not do that video so now i do not know if anybody knew knows exactly how much liquidity was present before the 23rd of march 2022 please put it in the comment section and i'll pin it to the top of the comments all right let's just run another i'm gonna run let's see app that market move that ai app that market move that ai and let's see what app that market move that AI says about this token. So let's paste the contract address in here. Let's click address. It's going to load <clears throat> and let's click audit. And see, this is why you cannot use only one tool to check any of these tokens because at this point if you didn't even know that this project rug pool and you came to app that market move that ai and you see that this token has a 91 out of 100 percent score you'll be like wow this looks good um i'm probably gonna invest and here we see that they have no buy tax no buy tax no sell tax and then if we scroll down we see that the top holders only have six percent and seven percent then we can see that the top holder in this token only has 2.6% of the token supply. We can see that liquidity liquidity seems to be okay because 73.9% <clears throat> is locked. And then the OXB1B, this wallet I'm telling you about, I don't I wouldn't worry too much about this wallet. I'm not sure if I should even worry that much about the OXB1B wallet because I always tell myself I'm gonna do the background research into this talk into this wallet and then I never do. But I'm gonna try and do it before this week ends and tell you guys probably in a post or probably just a short five, ten, five minute video, three minute video to see what this OXB1B wallet is and i'll probably just use this same meta kings token as the um test or to show you guys what it is so liquidity only negative i will see is that 26 percent of the liquidity is unlocked and then what are we seeing down here let's see what we see about the contract code and then here we see that the ownership not renounced that's the only thing this token is actually saying or this tool is actually saying that's wrong with this um token so here we see that liquidity seems to be okay because there's over eleven thousand dollars eleven thousand eight hundred and eighty two dollars in the liquidity and let's go to bs check bs check dot eu and let's check all right so buy tax zero sell tax zero and guys i'm not sure if you guys have the same mentality like me i like to see when there's at least uh some type of buy tax some type of sell tax i never like tokens that have zero percent buy tax zero percent sell tax because i like to see when tokenomics is set up in a way where the liquidity pool gets some money from the buy tax and the sell tax and like marketing gets some from this marketing gets some from that but here we can see that the ownership not renounced is that same ox a2 d5 and here we can see that they cannot even find the liquidity pools info i just wish i had done a video on this token from the get go from day one 
Alright, let's go to token sniffer. I think this is the last tool we're gonna use. So let's paste. Alright, so here we see ownership not renounced. And here we see that less than less than 95% of the liquidity is locked or burnt. So all these tools love to see when <clears throat> liquidity is at least 95% locked at least 95% of liquidity has been locked so if you had come to this token at a time like this right now and looked at this you probably be like okay less than 95% of liquidity is locked hopefully you tell yourself okay I'm not going to invest since the 95 it's not 95 or more percent of liquidity has been locked I'm not sure how it was before if the liquidity actually got unlocked on the 23rd or what but I just know that yes looks to me like they stole the liquidity on the 23rd that's that's what i think i don't think the owners or creators actually sold off tokens i think they actually stole the liquidity if anybody knows different please put it in the comment section and i'll i'll pin it to the to the top of the comments one thing i like to see now is i like to see the bubble map of the owners and i never like to see when a bubble map look like this a bubble map shows you how all the wallets are linked and here we can see how these wallets are actually linked look at all these one big wallet in the middle and then a whole bunch of different wallets on the outside so i'm not sure if these wallets these ones i'm not sure if these big ones are like from different exchanges or stuff like that but i just never like to see when a bubble map looks like this i like to see when a bubble map is all spread out let me show you what i'm talking about different bubble maps like let me go find another token let me find another token real quick so coin gecko and let's let's try to find uh let's see um let's see i'm not sure if ape coin would be a good example but a coin is a ethereum token well i could do it all right whatever um let's go search again let's see ufo gaming let's see if this is a good example let's copy this anyways let's go to open another token sniffer page and let's paste the address in here wait for it to load they got an 80 and let's look at their bubble map all right well this is this isn't the best bubble map out there either but it's still i think this still kind of looks better than the other one but this is still not a perfect bubble map out there because you can see that this still this one uh i clicked on it it shows that this one wallet the one in the middle is connected to all of these different wallets out here and then here you can see that this wallet connected to all of these tokens or all of these wallets out here plus he's connected to this wallet and then this wallet is connected to this one then to that one then to this one then to this one then to this one so this i, I don't think this is a good example because these wallets are all connected in some way because see if leading from here we go here 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 so all of these i, I would never trust this token whatever this one is called the truth or ufo because one wallet is connected in too many different ways in this token so this is what i'm talking about the bubble map i'm gonna start actually looking at these tokens bubble map to see how connected these wallets actually are so guys please always remember to go out do your own research come to your own conclusions and you gotta remember that at the end of the day it's your money that's always going to be on the line and i can 100 percent say and guarantee you guys that Meta Kings actually 100% rug pulled. And if we even go to, let's see, let's type, let's type in Meta Kings, Meta Kings, and just simple stuff that people say you have to even, you have to keep an open mind some of the times because let's go to their Twitter because I'm sure somewhere on their Twitter you will find people saying 
um, rug pull or bad token or stuff like that. So we have 1,200 people commenting on this post. So here is a buy Nadio. I didn't receive my coins. Let's see. Scam. Somebody says scam there. Or somebody says they're expecting game launch. There will never be a game launch because this token has been rug pulled unless somebody else takes over. Somebody says they haven't received any airdrop. All right, so somebody says rug pull right there. I wish I could go back to, all right, let's see. Go to one of the older um, older posts. Let's go to one of the older ones. So from February 17. All right, so, all right, so February 14. Let's go look at what people are saying from here. Somebody asking about liquidity, how much? So let's see if we can get the amount of liquidity in here. Hopefully somebody says, okay, this is the amount of liquidity. So we could see. And nobody answered. Oh boy. I was hoping somebody um, answered how much liquidity is actually there. Somebody said, this is February 14. Somebody said, I can't swap my token. So let's open his comment. All right. So let's click on show more. All right, so it's just a whole bunch of scammers in here at this moment. Somebody says, very real project. I believe it. And the Meta Kings go to the moon very soon. <laughs> and somebody says, this is the 21st of February. So this is over a month ago. Somebody says, very real rug pool. All right. All right, so somebody was calling out the devs right here where number one wallet rank with um, 99,000 and then somebody was ranked 29 with 940,000. Somebody the 21st, February 21st calls it a rug pool. I think it's the same person. Yeah, the same person calling it a rug pool. So somebody says no certic, no trailer, no game, and that's 15. <laughs> the same guy again says scam 2.0. All right, somebody says today is the rug pool. After midnight, they'll disappear with our investment. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, so if you come through these projects a whole bunch of times, you can see exactly what people are actually saying, and you can use these to actually help you whether or not you want to invest into these tokens. So, guys, I'm going to end the video right here. We are right, so here we see. Well, we were asking about the market cap earlier, so here we can see on pool coin right now, market cap is at 5.8 million. You can see before the rug pool, they have a 800 million dollar market cap. Listed on Coin Market Cap, CoinGecko. They said they're audited and doxed. I'm not sure how true that is, but if we go to their, go back to their website and we click on something like Team, we can see that they actually listed names of people right here. But I'm not a hundred percent sure if these people are actually the people behind the, the token. But on here they're saying, on Twitter they're saying they're audited and doxed. And like my video said the other day about being doxxed, doxing doesn't mean anything at this point in crypto. Means actually nothing to me right now in crypto. If a team is doxxed, okay, that's okay. But it does not mean that they won't rob you. N knowing who's behind the project doesn't mean that they won't rob you. All right. It just gives you a extra sense of comfort that yes, okay, we know who they are. They'll probably, probably not dock, um, run away with our money but we've we've seen like everybody with an open mind have actually seen more than one docs team actually rob people so when they say they're audited and doxxed it actually doesn't mean anything anymore at least not to me like to other people it might mean a lot that they're audited and docs but i've seen countless amount of times that 
um, even influencers that create created their own cryptocurrency rug pull and they do not care because yeah you know me but what are you gonna do because the fbi isn't gonna come for them the sec ain't gonna come for them so they do not really care so being doxxed and audited actually kind of means nothing right now all right so guys please remember to like share and subscribe and have a nice day